Yes, guys, how is it going? And welcome back to the adventure. Today, we are back at the Etihad, home to City, and we are going to watch the Blues take on Southampton in the Premier League. It is a tough test today. Southampton are no pushovers. They've already taken points off United this season, and every time they come to the Etihad, they always make it difficult for us Blues. So, yeah, we're running a bit behind, so it's time to get to the Etihad, and let's get inside to watch City take on Southampton. Come on, City. Okay then, so it's half time at the Etihad Stadium and it's City nil, Southampton nil. And if I have to be brutally honest, we've been really, really disappointed. I've really not been impressed. I could only think of two major chances that we have. The first one was a really good chance on the right hand side. Uh, really good link up between Walker and Jesus. One of them flashed across, across the box and Bernardo Silva was inches away from converting for City. And another chance was on the left hand side, a beautiful outside of the foot pass from Jack Grealish. Uh, allowed Sterling to get through one on one and he finessed it well wide of the mark. Southampton, however, have been absolutely fantastic, especially down the right hand side. Right back Livramento, I think he's playing at right back. He's been amazing. Che Adams as well as Adam Armstrong have really caused a lot of problems. Nathan Redmond's keep swapping sides, having to pull Walker from the left to the right to having to follow him. He's really causing a lot of problems as well for City. They've been really good Southampton in the forward areas. Uh, they put a few crosses into the box. They had a shot uh, from the free kick that Edison had to claw from behind. Uh, Ward Prowse conducting that play in the midfield. I've been really impressed with Southampton. They've been really, really good and really firm defensively. Uh, unfortunately, Jack Stevens has had to go off with an injury. Uh, but yeah, Southampton have been really, really good. Definitely think we need to make a change at half time. And uh, as much as Sterling was fantastic in the Euros, for me, in a blue shirt recently, he's not been doing it. Um, if, if we're going to keep Sterling on, I think he needs to go into the wide area. Uh, but I think Jesus and Grealish are doing really well really well in the wide areas. Bringing Ferran Torres on might be the way to break through this game. Obviously, Kevin De Bruyne can change any game that he wants when he comes onto the pitch. So I believe putting him on would be a good move. I mean, it is there for City, although we have been really poor. Um, I believe we can get something out of this game. We really, really need a win because at half time, Liverpool are winning by a goal to nil. And we need to keep up with Liverpool, Chelsea and United and we don't want to fall behind this early at the start. So yeah, disappointing first half, but it's all to play for in the second half. Let's cross the second half at the Etihad and hope for a better half. Come on, City! Come on, City! some magic and Kevin is coming on, we need him. It is a penalty for Southampton, it was a mistake by Walker and a foul by Walker. They are checking it, I believe he's been sent off as well. Absolute horror. Just before Kevin was going to come on as well. And the referee's going to look at it. I'm not too sure about this one. We need this not to be a penalty because I just don't see us winning this game if this is a penalty.
out the ball of the net. It's taken us nine minutes. It's going to be ruled out. Side ruled out, it would have been cruel on Southampton, but obviously disappointing. That's it, a terrible result. Oh, play awful. Absolutely. So full time at the Etihad Stadium and it's finished nil-nil. It's, it's the first nil-nil I've seen here for a long, long time. And there's two words to describe today's performance and that's absolutely shocking. Really, we were that bad. I think we had like one shot on target in 90 minutes and that is so poor for at home. We cannot be drawing against Southampton at home if we want to go for the title, but full, full credit to Southampton. Flipping heck, they were good defensively. They were really well organized and on the, on the break, they should have scored three or four and they were lucky about the VAR decision on the penalty. That should have been a penalty and Ward Prowse probably would have stuck that away. So arguably we were lucky to even get a draw from this game. Southampton maybe should have won. Uh, but we've got to hold our heads up high and we've got to go into the next game. We've got a really, really difficult week coming up with Chelsea away, PSG away and Liverpool away. If we play like that, we're going to get battered in all three. But I know Pep's going to absolutely grill the boys for today's performance. It wasn't up to the races and we're going to come back stronger. I know we are. And yeah, we can't get too doom and gloom about it. Honestly, that's not the City way. We're going to come back stronger. I know we are. But yeah, today's performance, we've got to reflect on it. It wasn't the best and uh, full credit to Southampton. They were brilliant. So then that is going to bring an end to today's vlog at the SEL Stadium. It's a really disappointing result, but I know we're going to come back stronger. If you have enjoyed the video, make sure to smash a like. Hit that big red subscribe button down below to join my football adventure. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.